What's really cool is I left this open right here. So if you are inside your front area and you need to access your back area, but you don't want to get out of your van and come into the back, you can just move this out of the way and you can access the back. Before this video even gets going, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some lighting that I've come across. It's not only good for van building, but is also good for all your everyday camping needs. Through night has come through in the clutch for me. It's a flashlight, and like I said, it is a camper's dream, and I'm gonna show you why right now. A really, really bright, bright light. <laughs> Sorry if I blinded you guys right now. Ah. On this version flashlight that I have right now, if you hold down the button, it can change different dimness. What's really cool about this version through night is I'm gonna put it on my head right now so you guys can see it in action. Right now my van has no lighting in it so this has been really helpful for me for building and I'm gonna use the different levels of brightness. Boom! Look at that. That brightens that up all day. You can see the shadow of the GoPro. Now we are on the lowest level and what's been really awesome is having this as headgear so I can work inside of the van. But like I said, more importantly, every camper van lifer out there loves having a headlamp. A headlamp is one of those life-saving things and through night has come through big for having this tile that can be a flashlight as you see here and also a headlamp. Through Night has a bunch of different options for you, so go check out the link below to get your own. All right, guys, we are going to get to my van in, in a minute. My boy Marty over here, he has been rebuilding his van for the last couple, what did you just do? I pretended to lift my <laughs> new butcher block. Why? Why? I don't know, you're just crazy, it's crazy just human. It's sensual, it's not perverted. Uh, I get it, man, it's profane. all good. Story of our lives over here. Uh, apologize for the lighting, we don't have the greatest of lighting, but it is what it is. Uh, you're good, Marty. <laughs> Marty is rebuilding his van because uh, the, one of the greatest things about working at Nomadic Customs is you get access to Mark's shop with his permission from time to time, and Marty. He's been. He's been nice enough to let me. Yes, he's been very back. nice. So after the work day, uh, he's been putting a couple hours in for the last several weeks and he's got this amazing galley that I wanted to show off. Dude, I actually don't know if I've seen this yet in a van. Yeah, absolutely love cooking. And I'm very proud of myself because I've figured out how to make a whole lot of dishes in my all electric kitchen in my van. But wait, before you show that off, yeah. you have your induction, which is right there, which is obvious, but yeah. you so also my, use an Instapot, I believe, my right? My induction cooktop is, is like my probably most used appliance in the van. Um, and then I under here, you can see I have my Instant Pot. Um, which you can't see because of the lighting. Yeah. But it's okay. In my pre, well, you'll see it in a second. Uh, oh boy, yeah. <laughs> in my previous build, there you go, Both everybody. of these things, which I use pretty much every day, were stored in my trunk couch. You even use this as like a, like you had that stored away? Oh yeah, yeah, both oh, of them. Oh, wow. Both of them, oh, well this is a brand new one. Oh, this, you did buy a new one, okay. Yeah, I bought a new one that, that you can inset into a counter. The other one was a, was a cooktop that, that just like uh, sits on the counter. Right. The thing is, I didn't know how well my electrical system was gonna work with a whole bunch of electrical appliances, and so I was trying to ease into it. But my biggest complaint was that every time I wanted to use one, I had to pull it out, and um, so what I wanted to do was have everything in the kitchen where I'm cooking and stuff. The idea that I had was to stack these but try to make them both accessible. One of the awesome things about the Instant Pot uh, that I've found for super tiny living is they make air fryer lids that go on top, which oh, allow yeah. you to basically, it's, it turns your Instant Pot into a convection oven. That's a whole extra appliance that you would have to put in your van. Whereas this tiny little lid, which is right, here, um, we'll turn your Instant Pot into an air fryer. I can make pizza, I bake cookies, I can fry chicken in it. I use it to finish off the tips so Is that my made ribs. by Instant Pot? Instant Pot makes um, an air fryer pressure cooker combo. This is my, I have an Instant Pot brand pressure cooker and the uh, crisp lid made by Mealthy is the air fryer lid that I nice. have. Nice. Your whole thing, your whole shtick is cooking yeah and you don't want to set up anymore so yeah. you came up with a way i'm tired of cooking that you don't have to set anything up anymore i can run one of these appliances what happens a lot is you want to finish things that you've started in the instant pot uh in the on, on top of the stove or vice versa oh by the way people are also may ask 
we'll just have more countertop space. This is all his countertop space. Yeah, this is all the countertop space. In my previous build, I had uh, heavy duty hinges with a piece on it that would flip up uh, next to the countertop. And I'm actually thinking about using this piece of butcher block that I was licking earlier to, to <laughs> extend this again. I'm probably gonna do So the, the rad thing about that is that we, you know, we put the camera up under here and I pulled the lid out, but because of this uh, drawer slide that I put on here, I actually won't even ever have to take the Instant Pot out of the out of the cabinet, right? That is so if cool. If you're familiar with the Instant Pot, when you do get to go to wash it, you don't even need to move the Instant Pot, you just take the inner pot out to wash it. And so this thing, I'm actually probably gonna build like a little mount so that it won't rattle around and shake when I'm driving. So that's super nifty. So you yeah. you have this as a slider, right? And now you can just yeah. access your Instapot without pulling it out and putting it back on top. It's also soft close. Watch this. Look at the action on it. Oh, <laughs> so smooth. Um, none of this is attached yet, which is why this is all moving. Around. Which is also why it's not in your van right now yeah. either. I just cut these holes. I still have to put a hole here for my faucet and the switch. You got to put your sink in. You got to do the everything. I got to put my sink in. Like I haven't treated any of this with the oils and stuff. Also, you filmed this entire project. <laughs> I, uh, I shot some of it Maybe some not. of the time. Okay. Yeah. And so, I'm going to be getting back on YouTube. I'm, um, I'm hitting the road soon. Okay. My time at Nomadic is coming to a pause. He fell I'm in at, love with Portland, I think is what it came down Portland to. Portland is great. Yeah, you really I love did. the people at the shop here. All right, well, let's go check out the rest of my van. Uh, yeah. This whole video is not about this guy, although I wanted to show this off. That is a great idea for a van build or somebody that wants to, uh, as, a, as a cooking connoisseur like my man over here, uh, that is just wants a good way to, to cook simultaneously. Put everything together. Put I think everything. my kettle will fit in there too. Maybe. Boom, boom, you get coffee too. So let's go back over to my van and check out my progress. Uh, we're back over at my van right now. I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of what's going on, um, but I also wanted to show you time lapse of me building that side. Uh, that is not completed because I did not time lapse this side. Uh, so let me show you that time lapse of that right now and then I'll explain why I didn't show it after. I just finished going live on YouTube, which was great. I haven't done live in the last couple of weeks, which is pretty much the reason why I didn't show a time lapse of this side being built. A couple different reasons. One, it was a timing thing. I took a break from turning on the camera is really what it came down to. I didn't, and I didn't want to distract myself with the cameras because this took a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. The van curves this way and curves this way. So there was a lot of angle maneuvering. Uh, there's a couple things down here in this little corner down here that I had to like nitpick and cut with a multi-tool and cut with my jigsaw. And I was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, on this side, I kind of did everything that I had to do on this side. Also measurements were crazy and I wanted to have it pristine and looking great. And then on this side, I kind of just am replicating on this side, just different dimensions. So let me explain to you guys what's going on here. Where I'm kneeling right now is where the bed is going to be. Like I'm like the slats are going to be right here. There's going to be a little bit of different system over here, but I'll explain that when I get there. Uh, this is the the box that I started, um, and I the top of it is actually right over there. I don't know if you can see it in the lighting that we have, um, but that will sit right on top. There's going to be a face right here, the face of the the whole bed. Um, that wood I am still waiting on. My goodness, that wood that's happening for the front is a is a laminated front apple ply wood. It's going to be beautiful when I get it. When I start building the galleys, I'll, I'll explain that. You see that this side is pretty much done. I actually sprayed this side with a uh, like a like a pro, like a polyurethane, like a lacquer, an outdoor uh, polyurethane because we're in the elements, and I want to make sure that this thing is going to hold up over time. And then this side is not treated whatsoever. 
Uh, so there's a shelf here that's going to be for storage. This is the backer of like, this is all storage underneath here. And then obviously there's another shelf below. This is where the wheel well is. You might not be able to see it because I put the black fabric over it. And you can actually see right here, that's what the wheel well would look like. Um, but I put that black fabric over it to make it all clean inside that box area and then over here That's all gonna be accessible from the front So the only part that's gonna be accessible from the back is everything from this wall and back and I did that intentionally now because of the rolling ottoman slash toilet box this can go anywhere Again, there's going to be a lid here, and there's going to be a front, all that good stuff. That is going to be designed to go out the front so I can sit on it and roll around my space inside. What's really cool is I left this open right here. So if you are inside your front area and you need to access your back area, but you don't want to get out of your van and come into the back, you can just move this out of the way and you can access the back. Now, for camera purposes i'm going to just roll it towards me so you can roll it out of the way it's on casters yeehaw everybody and now you have access all the way to the front none of this is bolted in none of it is screwed in none of it is anything of that nature so let's go out to the let's go to the front so this is the top I'm doing this kind of one-handed Hold on, hold on. Uh, a two inch pad that I just bought off of the internet that is actually, uh, it's just a, um, it's actually made for a wheelchair, uh, like extra padding for a wheelchair. Uh, so I just bought it because it was already the dimensions I needed, which was 18 by 16, it was kind of perfect. But this is now me sitting in here in the van uh, and I'll be able to move around the space and do all the good stuff. Um, hopefully my knees won't hit too badly when I'm rolling around the space now. I don't have to stand up in a van. That's why everybody's like, oh, you're getting a low top. You can't stand up, you can't stand up. I, this is a perfect example that I don't need to do that. Hello. And then it's gonna be aesthetically beautiful in here when it's all said and done. This is gonna be where the gallery's gonna start. So there's going to be a cabinet right here for storage. There's gonna be another partition in here. This is gonna be access from underneath the bed as well as over here. And you guys will see all that played out when I get there. All right, everybody, it is late Friday evening. I am gonna be wrapping this video up. This is the end of this build vlog or this build series or this episode, whatever you wanna call it. Tomorrow, I am gonna come back here and do more work. Uh, I've got a lot planned. Actually wearing the light that I was promoting at the beginning of the video. It worked out kind of nicely. So you guys can see inside of the van. So tomorrow, I wanna work on the face of the bed and then That'll be the beginning of the living area back in there. I am gonna actually bring my folding e-bike over here to make sure it fits into this space. Um, but I think it's pretty much there. I'm, I'm I, oh, I got my wood. I got my wood, my wood is all down there. So it finally came in. Uh, let me show you guys what it looks like. It has a black face on it right there. So this is a black high pressure laminate and it is not cheap. It's actually really expensive wood. The end grain, let me see if I can get a shot of this. It's a multi-layer. This is like Baltic birch right here. And that is an apple ply. So there's a multi-layer. So it's it's when you like sand it down and you put uh, some, some sealant on it, it really makes this grain pop a lot. Like this is Baltic birch, it's multi-layer. It squeaks a lot less. And then this is regular birch. You can see the difference in the plywood on how many sheets are you know pressed together there's like five layers here and then there's like you know this is half inch and this is three quarter inch this one's half inch right here so this is only three layers of plywood i think with oh like a very thin face on it and then as you can see here that these are also half inches but like there's like seven layers on these pieces again it's the same thing it's a multi-layer plywood more expensive more heavier more dense uh people like using that kind of wood for like less creaking the wood will creak less but it's gonna creak no matter what inside of a van everybody just letting you know yeah it's coming together it's really starting to come together what do you guys think i'm tired time for the weekend there is no weekends in my life i work seven days a week there is no rest i just go and i love it all right i'm out of here see you guys later